What's going on guys and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Archon Crate. So I know a lot of you guys over the past time have been asking me to do a tutorial on this and here it is. So it's one of the best crates plugin that there is. It's an awesome crates plugin. So basically with this it's a completely random thing. You open a crate and it's in a GUI and the GUI randomizes all the items and it shows you what you can possibly get and then at the last second it'll show you what you did get and it's all in a GUI. It's really really cool. So download this plugin, drop in your plugins for it and then re start your server and let's head into the config alright so now we're in the config and so basically how the crates work is you have a crate block and you can use it how you usually use it in Minecraft but with the command you can turn it into a crate and with that crate you can then get the key which will open it up and bring up the GUI so the block by default I believe is a chest and if you place down a chest you can use it like normally like I just said but then you can turn it into a crate with one command so you can change this to anything you want you can make it an ender chest you can make whatever you want I think I'm just gonna go with the default here and then what the title is you can change that and you can change pretty much all the words and all the noises that there are and then you can change what world it's enabled in and all the stuff it's really really awesome and all the sounds are in the description in a link and yeah so let's go ahead and save this and move on inside the crates folder inside the crate loot dot yml here we have pretty much all the stuff that you can possibly win you can win diamonds and the item id how much and all that stuff it's it takes a lot of customizing but in the end it should be worth it and your players will really like how this plugin works out and then the food the item id the stack amount and the commands that are executed so as you guys can see they do get more than one food here so sword gold tools all this stuff pretty sick and you have the chance of winning another crate key which will give you another chance at winning one of these awesome stuff so you have god apple and all that stuff so really really sick so now in that same folder we have the keys.yml and there are two keys and there are signs that we can set up to buy a certain key so obviously the golden key will be worth more because it gives stuff like a god apple and with the normal crate key you can't win that stuff so you can change what loot they can possibly get with each key so pretty cool there alright so back on the server here we have the block ID that we send the config to be a crate and if we place it down it acts like a normal chest until we type the command that will turn it into a crate so you guys can set this around your spawn maybe you only want players to use it if they go to a certain location or maybe you just want them to be able to use this on their own then you can give them the permission to to type this next command in and all the permissions are always in the description for you guys and uh, so yeah let's go ahead and type that command in and the command is slash ac create and then here's where you type which key you want this crate to be open with so if you want it to be open with the default key or if you want it to be open with the golden key the golden key was for crates to have much more powerful items I guess so let's go with default and hit enter so there we go now we can't break it and we can't do anything else with it and it needs the crate key so now we're gonna set up a sign to be able to buy a crate key so of course you guys can place this buy sign wherever you want for your players to be able to buy the crate keys so I'm just gonna place this sign down on the first line you're gonna to want to type AC buy on the second line you're gonna to want to type the amount that they get by right clicking once so if they right click on it once then they'll get this many I'm just gonna do one and then the price so I'm going to do 100 and then the name of the key so default or the other one was golden or if you created a new one then you can type that in too so I'm just going to go with default and just hit done so there we go now we can right click on it and here we go we got a nice looking crate key now if we right click on this bam it'll bring up the awesome I find this really awesome it's an awesome GUI and it randomizes all the items oh uh, now that is a lucky pool. I've been playing around with this and that is a really lucky pool. We got 10 diamonds in one crate on our first try. That is crazy. And you guys can keep adding items into that crate loot. So your players have a chance of pulling a lot more items than just that. So let's try again. See what happens. <laughs> that was really lucky. So let's see what happens. Ooh, and we get... What are we going to get? Oh, okay, so we got steak. That That's the usual pull for me. But, uh, yeah, the other command that we can type to get a crate key without buying one is slash AC. Key, the player's name, the amount, and then the key name. So default, if I can spell that. There we go, enter, bam, there we go. 
and let's do it one more time see what happens I really like all these tiles here or well they're called glass panes but I really like how it just randomizes the color and we got stick again so obviously that first pull was pretty lucky and hopefully you guys did enjoy this plug control if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe for more plug tutorials and I will see you guys next time peace out